Hey everyone and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. On this video, we're going to be getting the Platinum Relic on the sewer or later level. The target time for that Platinum is 34 seconds. So the strategy for getting the Platinum Relic on this level is to get the first three Aku Aku Masks without taking any damage and then you can run through the rest of the level with invincibility. Now you'll notice the starting clock is in a weird position here, it's hovering over the water. If you were to try to wade through the water, pick up the clock, and then jump to the next part, you wouldn't make it, you would need a second jump. So to avoid that, what we're going to do is slide jump from back here, catch the clock on the way down, and that'll put us close enough to that next platform so we can jump up in one go. So, let's do it, here we go. Oh! That was weird. It's like a quasi-slide jump. There we go, much better. Alright, so slide through there, spin quickly, and then get through here. We're gonna slide jump out to there, jump through. Jump through quickly before we get electrocuted. Grab these two time boxes. Slide through there, and there's the third Aku Aku Mask. And basically run through the rest of the level with invincibility. Now with these fans, jump slightly to the right just so you don't hit that middle section and slow down. So slightly to the right. Run right through this TNT. Go to the right path. Spin there, or actually didn't need the spin. Take that damage and run all the way through to the end. Should have it. 32.79. Almost my best time. I had slightly better on another run. Put in the initials ATS. And there's our Platinum Relic. Now once again, the top times make no sense whatsoever. Top time 25.56. No idea how that's even remotely possible. But I got my platinum, and that's all I care about. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.